Hi, my name is Miriam. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to be talking about cushions for my sofa. I moved here um, a while ago and everything in my decoration was black and white um, and gray. So ever since I decided to just put a little pop of color in my apartment. So I'm going to be sewing um, um, suede um, cushions for my sofa. However, you know me, I just don't, I go the limits with things. So I want to put something in the back. I don't know if I'm going to go with um, a different color fabric or some doilies. I still have plenty of them since the last time that I, when I got some, um, I still don't know if that's going to be the color that I'm going to be doing. Um, just thinking about it. So you can see it's an article so far. It's pretty long. So I need like um, maybe five cushions. Um, I don't want to make them too tiny. Um, so uh, if you like this content, like, share, and subscribe. Leave any comments for me. I'm new to this. Like I said before, this is going to be, I think, my 13th or 14th video. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Here I am sitting down wondering what combinations am I going to use. Um, here's the suede, um, the doilies, and uh, a few pieces of fabric that I have for the project. Here I'm going to be tracing the yellow suede um, with another cushion. I want the shape. I don't think it's going to be completely, you know, correct. You know, like complete a, a complete perfect circle, but I'll be okay with that. Um, so, yeah, I'm just tracing it. Here I'm going to be cutting this circle. Um, I'm going to be cutting it, I think, five times. I'm, I'm going to be folding it. Let me rephrase that. Uh, I tried doing it four times, but then the fifth time was fine, and I got a circle. You know, it's not a perfect circle, like I said. So here it is. Now I'm going to attach, I have a white sweater you know thin material and i'm going to double layer it and just cut the backing of this circle i really don't have yellow yellow suede for both sides so this is just going to be just the front and then it's going to be tufted with two buttons so here i'm pinning um the fabric to create um to start sewing i believe it will be easier for me if i pin it than to cut it or trace it or draw it or anything like that in the fabric since it's like a sweater material. the circle this way it was not even at all in none of the corners so um, on this one I wanted to have two sides because it was like you know long enough to have two sides so I decided to use the plate as um, 
as a pattern to just trace the circle because I wanted to create something like the smaller um, black cushion that I have or that I had in my living room so here I am tracing and here I cut it and I put a doily inside um, I think it looks lovely and I'm gonna put a button a large button in the middle I'm gonna be tufted in this but I'm gonna attach the button first because I don't know if I want to really just tuft um, the other side um, I'll see when I finish and I flipped everything and I stuffed them to see how they look I stuffed them with the foam <laughs> These cushions are my masterpiece. I've been obsessed with doily for years now. I wouldn't even know where to put it in my house, so I created certain things like the rattan flower in my table. It's, um, it's from a doily, the shape of a doily. Here I'll be working with velvet. I have a yard of velvet to upholster um, chairs, but then I was like, okay, I don't want to have everything gray. So I saved it. So I'm going to use it now to make cushions. This is the cushions that I had original, uh, uh, you know, in my sofa when I moved here. So I'm going to use it as a pattern because I like the size. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I think it's going to be a crazy design. But I'm think I'm gonna go just gonna go with the white pom poms. You'll see at the end. I'll show you um at the end what I did. Here is the fabric. Everything is already cut. Um maybe I wanna put a doily in this one, a square doily. I don't know. I think um I don't think so. I don't know yet. I will decide at the end. Like I said, um here's the it'll be a square one and I used a round doily and the rest of the sway that I had to create this one also we're gonna have a button in the middle but this one I think I'm gonna be tufting all the way here's some brown suede and I'm gonna attach um, orange pompon and here's the circle with the back sweater here I'm gonna start sewing um, I'm not gonna show you right. every single cushion that I saw because it's gonna take forever. This is it will be a very long video. I want to keep it um, around the 10 minute mark um, So here I'm showing you the needles. The needles are jean needles. That's what I'm using um, to sew um, through the suede because it's not um, it's not hard suede, but it's not soft that soft either So the jean needles work perfect for this project And um, I'll see you soon. See you at the end
here are the cushions um this is the square ones this is the velvet ones um two gray ones in velvet and one has the light grade um pompons and the other one has the white pompon they both the same size here it is the um the round one the orange one with the doily and the button here's the square one with the wood button And you could put them on either side. I decided not to tuft them. Here's the yellow one with the sweater um back. And um you see I tuft these. Um the tufting I hated using those buttons. I couldn't find the ones with the little teeth. This is my bedroom. Uh, this is the yellow one the the brown one with the orange um pompons. And um, yeah, I decided to put this one in my bed. It matches with the decor. I used some of the fabric to create this frame. Just gluing pieces of suede um, with raffia and then framing it back. Just getting rid of the old. And that's it. Here's the last look of how it looks in the bed. Thank you. Thanks for watching.